Xena the Warrior Princess is about to lay down her breastplate. By the end of the month, the last episodes of the six-year-old series that's made in New Zealand and syndicated around the world will be seen from Kansas City to Kotka, Finland. Lucy Lawless, the sculpturesque actress who is Xena, describes the show in a way that manages to convey its best quality without getting carried away. I always called it a goofy show for smart people. Xena began her run as a lethally sultry raven-haired villain on the old Hercules series. One of the producers was American, Rob Tappert. They had been um, pushing me to come up with a spin-off show, and so we, I kind of went, well, we could spin off this character, and they saw the footage and were very eager, and um, it was kind of, they said, well, it's going to be a tough sell to do a woman warrior as its own show, but um, we're game if you are. But first, the writers converted Xena from an evil doer to a muscular do-gooder who delivers justice at the point of a sword. Sharon Delaney of Glendale, California, is head of the official Xena fan club. The actress uh, Lucy Lawless plays her. She brings a softness to the to the strength. Lucy Lawless is a strapping presence, but has no background in stunts or stage fights. In fact, she trained as an opera singer. My nickname at school was Unco, for uncoordinated, and <laughs> I was quite proud of that and quite comfortable with it. And then I got this job by accident when somebody else pulled out and was forced um, by the school of hard knocks to learn how to start to um, stunt fight. And nobody knows better than I that Xena's a composite character. There's, there's about six people who go into being Xena at least. The show's become noted among many women who see Xena as a superhero whose powers are embellished by sheer feminine competence. But whatever the feminist and sensitive guy philosophizing, Xena succeeds by being the meanest mother on the block. We do have a formula, which is we certainly have three fight sequences in every single episode. I didn't think I would like the fighting because I'm not an action-adventure person by nature. Mm -hmm. But I did, <laughs> and I suppose it's a guilty pleasure. But uh, I found myself uh, you know, enjoying that aspect of the show as well, which surprised me. Xena often disarms her foes with a chakram, an old Persian weapon that looks like a fatal frisbee but returns to Xena's hand like a boomerang. Maybe that's the New Zealand touch. Xena kicks up her show-stopping legs into the faces of assorted bad guys. There are worse ways to die, fan Sharon Delaney says. Rarely did you see blood except when it seemed they were trying to make a point. And over the years, the action was increasingly punctuated by the personal story of Xena the Warrior Princess and her companion, Gabrielle the Poet, played by Renee O'Connor. We are in the business of making people feel something, which is your job on a television show. So um, I think over time we've crafted the show or it's taken on uh, more emotion between the two characters in order to ho hopefully make it a more satisfying viewing experience. The warrior showed the poet what a mess the world can be. The poet gave the warrior a reason to care enough to change it. Zena and Gabrielle traveled together, fought together, laughed together, and then some. Are you sitting on the soap? I was wondering what that was. There were scenes of tenderness as well as cleanliness. Zena's been called a love story. Does Lucy Lawless agree? The short answer is yes. This has always been about a, a tremendous friendship between two human beings. And, um, and the whole... The whole experience was a labor of love for uh, Renee and me and the crew. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yes, the simple answer is yes. Where are you going with this, Scott? <laughs> we'll get to that. There's also been a twisted history aspect to Xena. The stories are set in some imprecise, all-inclusive antiquity. The likes of Julius Caesar, Hippocrates, and Ares make guest appearances. Rob Tappert remembers. We had some episodes a couple years ago where she questioned her way of the warrior only to have Krishna tell her that that's the way of her life and uh, there's no reason she should not excel and be everything she can be to be a warrior since that's the path she should walk in life. So, um, When you, you say Krishna, you mean Lord Krishna. That's right, Lord Krishna. <laughs> now, Thank what's he you. doing in Greek mythology? Uh, well, they happen to visit India. Um, 
So um, we, we tried to touch on as many different religious, philosophical beliefs as we could, from going to China, to Japan, to India, to mm -hmm. the Norse gods. Zena's virtuosity in all areas encouraged those she encountered to fear gods, but trust in Zena. Sharon Delaney. Yeah, uh, Zena invented the kite. She invented CPR, tracheotomies. She was the one right. under the table pulling back Ulysses' bow. You know, uh, that's been a large part of the fun. The humor in the show, the humor of the the writers, the producers, directors, actors, plays a large part in the fun of this show. People will ask me things about um, specific episodes, or they'll mention the name of an episode, and I'll go, "Oh, remind me what happened in that one." And I'll say, oh, it's when you were kissing Kevin Smith or when you bit Kevin Smith's nipple. And I'm going, uh, um, tell me more. You know, like, <laughs> a, a little marker like that means nothing to me. Um, a little thing like biting an actor's nipple, you don't remember? Right, I can't remember that. Or I can't, uh, which time was it when I gave birth to a centaur? Let, let me think. <laughs> well, they, or now, crucified. I've been crucified that many times. The writers also borrowed another plot line from the New Testament. Lucy Lawless married Rob Tappert a couple of years ago. They got pregnant in the parlance of our times. What do you do with a pregnant warrior princess? There was no possible way that we thought we could conceal a pregnancy, um, so we embraced it in our storylines. Let, let, let me uh, gently explore what I think you've been expecting, okay? Yeah. And, and look, why be? Th this show is important to, to people all over the world. It's been important to many women all over the world. And, yeah. I, and I'm not going to shy away from saying it's been important to, to lesbians all over the world. It, Very brave of you. <laughs> well, we all, we all know that. Hard-hitting. Okay, 